protect your DNA. BioBQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com So how does our government treat vets? People who have put their life on the line to put forward the government's foreign policy to fight their wars. If they can make it past the wait list, many of them are getting dangerous and ineffective prescription drugs. What happens to the people who self-medicate with something that is more effective? The story from Mint Press talks about an Army vet who faces a felony for helping other veterans treat PTSD with cannabis. This is Sean Kiernan, a U.S. Army veteran from California who, along with his wife, pled guilty earlier this year to felony charges related to growing marijuana for other veterans. He had attempted suicide in 2011. He was still struggling two years later. He was committed involuntarily by the VA. He says this was an experience that led him to embrace the benefits of cannabis over pharmaceutical drugs. And they point out that even in states that have legalized medical marijuana, veterans may not be able to access a drug without endangering their benefits. In addition, in July, a judge dropped charges against another vet, a Marine Corps vet, who had faced life in prison in Oklahoma for using cannabis to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. And Kiernan, who is now facing jail, says marijuana is illegal because it makes people rich. The war on drugs brings in billions every year to police and the prison industrial complex. And of course, it feeds the fat cat politicians like Chris Christie, like Jeb Bush, like Marco Rubio, Hillary Clinton, Graham, uh, all the rest of them, those who continue to push this insane prohibition war. But what does it do to the veterans? That's the real issue. Let's play a clip from today's radio show where Joe Biggs came on and talked about his personal experiences and what Veterans Day means to him. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there who, who are anti-war, and I can understand that that's fine. You know, horrible wars that don't make a sense, you know, make any sense whatsoever. That, that's not good at all. But guess what? There's still men and women out there who s believed like I did, hey, I'm trying to do something for my country. They're not out there for any bad reasons. They're not out there because, you know, they're trying to help further the globalist agenda, whatever you may think it is. No, there's people out there, men and women, who say, hey, I want to do something for America because I do think it's the greatest country. And, you know, simply saying thank you, that's nice and all, but it kind of makes us feel awkward. Really, at the end of the day, you know what we care about? Hey, man, how you doing? Mm -hmm. How do you feel, man? Because you know what? 90% of those injuries you do get overseas, they're not external. You can't see them. They're not the missing limbs, legs, scars, burn marks, all that stuff. They're internal. It's that deep depression you get through every day. It's the suicidal thoughts. It's all of that, the massive drinking. I mean, when you see someone like that, go up and say, hey, man, are you all right? Do you need anything? I'm here for you. You know, because a lot of times people forget about those guys. And it's not that they need to be thanked. They just want to be remembered a little bit and to, to feel like people out there care about them. Not because they need that extra attention, but because when you go through that experience, like, as they're showing combat pictures I've been through, this and that, things I've survived, um, you wow. go through That's things to where you jokes. don't you don't <laughs> think that you can ever assimilate. You don't ever think you're going to be able to... Come back fit into civilian life again. Right. You know, it's hard to find a woman who actually can understand what it is I'm going through with my mood swings. Hey, guess what? It's going to happen. There's some days I feel fine. There's a day that I wake up and I just don't want to exist. I don't know why that happens, but that is a reaction of what I've been through. You know, I'll never forget this one certain day. I was in El Paso, Texas. I was driving eastbound on Zaragoza towards uh, my new house that I just moved in with my buddy. And I'd stopped at a couple bars and just had like a drink here and there. And I, I've just felt alone. All of a sudden, I felt like I was in this bubble by myself, but I was surrounded by women, people everywhere. Anybody would have had a great time. But for some reason, I just felt like I was all alone and had nothing to do. And I jumped in my car and I started screaming and crying. And I started punching my steering wheel and my horns going off in the parking lot. And I'm just hitting everything I can. I've still got fist marks in my car where I was just screaming and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know why this was happening. And then I just started getting so frustrated and angry that I was, why was I this angry? What is going on? Mm -hmm. And I ran home and I took every freaking Ambien that I had because I just, I'd had enough. And I took a whole bottle of Ambien, chucked the whole bottle of tequila and walked out into the desert because my, the, the lining of houses at that point in time, everything in our backyard was a desert. There was nothing out there. It hadn't been developed yet. So I went out there and I was like, you know, I'm just ready to go. I can't take this anymore. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of going through this stuff all the time. And this girl that I know, Becky from South Carolina, up and calls my phone out of nowhere and says, hey, I had this bad feeling. Are you okay? 
and I just broke down again. And next thing you know, she called the, the fire department. They came and got me, took me to the hospital. And, you know, everyone's from my unit like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, I'm fine. It's just a misunderstanding. And I played it off. I put my mask on. I said, oh, yeah, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. What are you guys talking about? I'm fine. I don't have PTSD. And right. I went home and I lied to everybody and said I was A-OK -okay because I didn't know how to open up to anybody. Because when you do automatically in the military, they say there's an open door policy, but there's not. Right. They say that you're crazy and that you, you can't handle it anymore. Yeah, then they'll put you in some, some crappy unit where you're never going to go and do what you love to do again. And then you're going to hate your life even more. Yeah. I went home. I threw every single pill down the toilet. I said, screw this stuff. Screw all this crap. I'm never doing it again. Because I understood that I wasn't angry. I didn't, I wasn't depressed. I didn't hate my life. It was these freaking pills that were doing this to me. It was the fact that the doctors didn't give one care about me whatsoever. And then I was like, you know what? I'm done. And that's why there are 22 people taking themselves a day. I've had two this year, two buddies, one guy who wore a mask just as well as I did. So I couldn't tell that he was depressed. I couldn't tell that he wanted to kill himself at all. And I go in one day to go hang out with him and he's not there. Yeah. You know, that's horrible. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life.